everyone, it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. Oh, I'm in my yard. My husband parked behind me. It's hot today. No earrings? Where are my earrings? Hope everybody's doing well. I am headed to go get um, sirloin steak sub for my dad. Um, I'm running a little behind, but I uh, he's in the hospital. He's septic, running a high fever. Um, I ended up taking him to the hospital. I'm losing track of my days. Oh my God, everybody's got me blocked in. I have two acres and they got a park behind me and almost blocked me in. I can't even go around back to get out. And it's dangerous to park behind me. But this new car tells me. <laughs> the seat vibrates when anybody's near me, too close to me. Um, yeah, he's, he's feeling okay today, but I had to take him to the hospital in the middle of the night remember what night. It wasn't last night. It was the night before. I was up all night. So I guess it would be Monday morning. Well, Sunday night, Monday morning. I was up all night. I got home around 7 a.m. on Monday morning from the hospital. Um, he's so... I think it's men. Men are so stubborn. <laughs> it's just the men in my family are stubborn, but... He didn't look good Saturday at the party, but he kept saying he was fine. I just didn't like his coloring, sleeping a lot. He's not a complainer. But anyways, then um, Tiffany called me the next day and said he's been running fever. And he didn't want to go to the hospital, so finally... I got on the phone with him instead of my mom and I told him, I said, I'm worried about you. And he's like, well, Nance, how about you take me in a couple days? I'm like, no. And then I broke down and kind of, well, I, I wasn't boohooing, but I, when I, when I get emotional, I can't talk. It's like my throat closes and I couldn't talk. And, um, I let him know. I said, I was worried about you Saturday. And I said, I don't want you to die. Because if you get septic, I mean, you can die from it. Um, hold on one second. Did you deliver to me yesterday? I'm Dormeyer. Yes, ma'am. I got an envelope that was slit and opened there was a sock in it so if you have a sock in your car it's mine that's okay don't worry about it then so okay but so, somebody had like slit the side of the envelope the stamp wasn't even postmarked like I could reuse the stamp it was really weird. Okay. No, it's not a big deal. It's a sock. But I was just wondering. I, I called my mom. I go, what did you send me? Because there's nothing in the envelope. <laughs> she goes, you left a sock here. <laughs> Anyways, have a good day. Okay. That's all right. <laughs> I guess she figured that one out. That was my postal lady. <laughs> oh, my mom mailed me my sock. Silly. It wasn't worth 45 cents the stamp, but I'm able to reuse the stamp. They found it. They threw it away. <laughs> somebody, somebody at the post office opened it. Probably was curious what that, what it was. I don't know. But okay, I'm headed to pick my dad up lunch and then headed to the hospital. But yeah, he's. But anyways, oh, I, I kind of broke down on the phone and I told him I was afraid he was going to die. And I was like, are you giving up? 
you know, and um, he's like, no, I'm, I just want to go in a couple days, and I says, you can't. I said, you have to go today, tonight. Needs, I hate doing that to you. I said, Dad, you're not doing anything to me. This is, we're family. This is, family takes care of family. I think he's worried he's a burden. I mean, and he's not. I mean, of course, nobody wants to stay up all night, but I would jump off a cliff for him, you know? But, uh, got him to the hospital and they took him straight back. This, these little corner ERs, some of them are really nice. This one in Gainesville on Archer Road, it's a Shands ER, and they'll hold them there. It functions like an, a, a, a real hospital emergency room. They have CT scanners in there, and um, what they'll do is they'll keep him there, and if he has to be admitted, they'll send an ambulance to transport him. It's, you know, until there's a bed at the big hospital. But um, they sent him to the big hospital in Gainesville, Shands, teaching hospital, but he's been transferred to the cancer center. But, um, talked to my mom this morning. Um, he's still, well, what she said was last night he was walking the floors, which is a good thing. You know, he needs to get up and move. So he was feeling a little bit better, but he has spiked another temperature. It's 103.5. So they're going to start vancomycin, another antibiotic. But one thing I will say, his incision um, stopped weeping once they started the antibiotics from the other night. So, because that incision um, had me a little worried. But anyway, so I'm headed there. I'm bring him some lunch because he doesn't like hospital food. But who does? sodas. They used to um, provide sodas. Go ahead. Oh. I'll put this way. Uh, they used to provide sodas, you know, at the hospital, but they don't anymore. I'm sure people took advantage of it. I'm thinking it was the hospitals. I can't remember visiting somebody at the hospital and the nurse asked me if I wanted a drink. And she went and got me one. God only knows that was probably 20 years ago. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, and he also wants a chocolate shake from Wendy's. So I got to make two stops before I get to the hospital. And my mom said to park at the emergency room valet that it was. Speaking of which, I need to make sure I have money for the valet. Um, that the cancer center was packed. I mean, there was a long line for the valet, so I'm going to I'm going to um, go to the emergency room valet. She said it wasn't so busy. We'll see. We will see. update you on what I've been working on. I have um, been doing a lot of traveling, so I I haven't been taking a lot of like my, like um, I haven't mentioned my temperature blanket from um, Homespun Fun. I joined her. Um, I'm a little behind on that, but it won't take much to get caught up. Um, warmer colors I like better than the cooler colors because it was all a bunch of yellow now it's coral colors which I like um, I you know I'm not gonna bring that with me I'm not gonna travel with 10 skeins of yarn so um, but I'm a little behind on that Nan's next knot I've got this week I haven't done I don't even know what the number is I haven't had a chance to see what color she picked um, but that that one's really turning out beautiful. I love those colors. And it's all, I love this yarn. And you guys have seen it in my other videos. Um, 
you guys know that I've been picking up the knitting needles and I've been trying to get comfortable with the knit stitch. That's all I knew. I didn't know how to cast off or purl, but I've been doing it, you know, like frogging it and doing it and frogging it and doing it. And, and I've gotten where I've gotten comfortable with the hooks in my hand, continental style. And um, I learned to purl from my mom's neighbor so I purled all night in the ER, you know, knit, purl, knit, purl, and um, it was starting to look good. So um, anyways, so then I started watching some videos, like what kind of project could I make, I'll park right here, what kind of project can I make that's easy, that's the knit and purl, and there's like a slip, you can slip a stitch front and back. Anyways, I've learned some of this stuff. I know how to cast off. So, um, yeah, so I found a pattern now that I'm parked. And I got this yarn. This pattern's a free pattern. You can get at Michael's on their free pattern rack. But anyways, I have this color and that orange color. And I, I cast it on, and I want to see if I can make this wrap. Um, it's actual pattern, so I know how to a little bit read a little bit of the knitting, so I'm excited about it. I would love to learn how to make a sweater, but it's summertime. I'm not in a rush. I want to get proficient at just knitting and purling, and um, I'm still struggling a little bit with um, if I drop a stitch. Um, I have ret retrieved one, but the other night I couldn't retrieve one. Well, I couldn't figure out, I don't know what I did wrong. But anyways, um, the dog's foot got caught on my project and it pulled everything out. So I did figure out you can pull out one whole row and then put it back on your, your needle as long as the little loops. So I have figured that out. So I'm, I'm, figure, I'm starting to figure things out. Um, by, what do you call it, by error, you know, kind of learn as you go. And I've watched a lot of videos. Linda Simpson has great videos. Um, I like the continental version of stitching, of, of knitting. Um, I just, I guess the other way, it was really struggled. And my mom's neighbor does, I guess it's English stitch. I can't remember y'all. But anyways, I got that going on. And then I brought this. I have not had a chance to start this, but I'm gonna work on this. I brought all the colors that I'm gonna use. Um, I, I, think I, I think I understand the pattern now. It's taken several views, but hang on. I wanna run in and get my dad's lunch. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I do not like backing out in this intersection. I have to wait till the light turns. Red. You can't see over the vehicles. There we go. All right. Now I'm headed to the house. No, I'm headed to Wendy's to get him a chocolate shake. I guess a chocolate frosty. That's a good sign. He's craving ice cream. And um, they got him a dietitian coming in. I guess they're not happy with how he's eating or not eating. <sighs> so, but um, what else? Okay, so I brought that calendar. It's an Annie's calendar. And Lynette Charm Grammy is hosting this one. So, and I'm gonna make a balance, but by the end of the month, I probably will only have one row. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try. We'll see. And um, my internet is working, but for some reason it's going down later on in the evenings I noticed it was buffering last night 
the video I downloaded, I downloaded it at my office because uh, I got awesome internet there. Same company, just I have the fiber optic. I've got the expensive internet in my um, my office. The best that you can get. And I have the same at my, I mean, my house is the best I can get, but it's not the, the mega fiber optic. It's what, I don't know. I draw in 40 something. They call it 40. And they said for some reason why it wasn't working, I was only drawing 20. It took four tenths before they got it right. And it's still not what it used to be. So it is what it is. But I hope everybody's having a wonderful, Tuesday. I've lost track of my days because I slept like till one o'clock yesterday. <laughs> I was so tired. Twelve or one. I can't, can't remember. And then I was just lazy. But um, oh, I know what we were talking about that pattern, that shawl pattern. I'm real excited about an actual pattern because I did um, I did like a little scarf and then I undid it I'm never gonna wear a scarf here but I will definitely I could gift the shot to somebody the colors are pretty that orange and green I use the identical colors one reminds me of Laura Mad Mimi and the other one reminds me of um, that I can knit. I, I don't want to put it down. I don't want to crochet right now. Um, but of course, crochet will always be number one to me. But right now, it's like I'm on a mission. I got this. I want to prove I, I got this, you know? So, yeah. There was a couple things that I knitted that I probably could have made one side a top, but I frogged it all because there were mistakes in it um, in the beginning, but you can see I get better as I get going, especially with the pearl. Um, even this morning, um, I had to knit, 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 slip, and then I had, but I was purling on another project, not this one. This one doesn't have a pearl in it, not yet, but um, my purling, you know, I'm slow at it, but as I got going this morning, I got a little bit better. Um, it's, I guess I gotta, it's your brain, it's how you do it. But uh, I'm, I'm excited, I can do it. I can actually say I know how to knit. And um, I'm excited to learn new stuff. And there's so many wonderful YouTubers, podcasters out there that have incredible videos. And, you know, if one doesn't click for you doing it one way, there's somebody out there that does it another way. Like, for example, my daughter's lying stained glass. Her teacher's right-handed. My daughter's left-handed. And she's been showing my daughter something specific. I don't know about foiling or whatever. But anyways, I told my daughter, I said, you got to get on YouTube there's probably somebody out there that's left-handed and yes we found a lady that is left-handed and she she even said I'm going to show you this way she said nobody else out there does this specific 
thing on stained glass like her she said but I'm a lefty and it works and Tiffany's doing it now and she loves it her teachers not real crazy about <laughs> her being unfaithful I guess <laughs> but she's made a couple beautiful pieces and she's like her mother she can't do something small she has to do something big and she's done one big one big stained glass and now she's doing she's finishing up on another big one a round one and um, it's like a giant medallion it's gorgeous and she's making it for me and then the neighbor next door is, he's a he's a there's a gentleman he's an architect he wants Tiffany to make some big things for him and the teachers are like you I don't think you need to do that well he's gonna pay for everything and she's like, I'm not sure. He says, I want you to do, I want you to do it because you're raw talent. I know you're not 100% confident, but he wants her to make it. So she's going to work on it. All right. I got to order a shake. I'll be back. All right. I got Daddy-O chocolate shake. You can make a right on red. His tags about to fall off. All right, I'm getting on my least favorite road, the interstate. All right, what were we talking about? Oh, I know what I. I got some yarn in last night. Um, I've got about three orders out there, but I ordered some yarn from Fiber. Fiber Arts Expression Fiber Arts Shandy Expression Fiber Arts I ordered um, the color palette it's beautiful and I'll try to share that with you guys um, maybe on this video if it will let me download I may download this video before I get home because the hospital has decent internet <laughs> Yeah, I didn't open it. I want to open it. It's, it's my first order ever from her. I think she is absolutely adorable. She's funny. She's, she's quirky, but funny. And as sweet as can be. And she, I don't, I, I'm assuming she makes all of the, every week she has a pattern. She has designers, but that girl can knit and crochet some beautiful things. I'm sure she does it. She has beautiful yarn. Beautiful yarn. But I can't afford to buy that yarn weekly. It's a little pricey, but it's gorgeous. Colors are stunning. But I, I bought, well, I got on, I got a couple of her patterns free because they have free patterns on there. But I also have bought a few um, tops. And I think I bought one knitting pattern. It's an easy pattern for Shaw's.
different types. Um, I have um, Knitter's Pride. I have now the Knitter Pride Bamboo. I know y'all are going to think this weird, but you know how sometimes some things you touch, the texture kind of makes your teeth hurt. But touching them kind of makes my teeth hurt because they're not smooth you know shiny they're not slick but they are I don't know what it is the texture kind of gives me the willies but um, so I don't know if I'll use those I tried them last night and um, they worked nice but I was I don't know I was getting the heebie-jeebies holding I wonder if that's something I could get used to over time. I don't know. But, uh, and then I have a couple. Oh, I have, um, Susan Bates. I think it's Susan Bates. I've got the kit. They're all metal. And then also I have a little pack that I got from Charm Creamy that has smaller knitting needles that, um, it's like a to-go pack, and um, she gave this to me. She had a bunch of them from Sarasota. When we went to Sarasota, she handed out a few to us, to us probably to all of us. Um, somehow, I ended up with two packs. I don't know how. But uh, one thing I need to do today, and I hope I can get by either one of the three yarn stores in my in Gainesville is I need to get those little rubber tips for my knitting needles. Right now I have a rubber thing that actually goes on a pen, you know, to, for to protect your finger when you write. Like I have a bump on my middle finger from writing and they have these little rubber things they sell at the Dollar Tree that you can put over your pen or pencil so it's softer. That's what I've got on the knitting needles. I've got US 8, so I have two of them shoved in it. <laughs> so, but it's so pretty out. It's like a day to lay out in the sun. But I know I'm not allowed to lay out in the sun anymore. I'm getting some terrible spots. I have to go see a dermatologist. My son was telling me that, well, he was going to hire another practitioner for his practice, and um, she does dermatology stuff, so I got a name. I think in the future, I think he's not quite ready to hire anybody yet. I was 
supposed to bring a shirt home, like her, one of her shirts home with me, and I forgot. So, I'm not going to make, in this sweater, there's no rush because it's too hot now to wear it, but it'll be for next year. And it's a little big.